This might look like a group bike ride, but these are actually the moments before an anti-government protest in Saudi Arabia. By the way, it's illegal to protest the government in Saudi Arabia. And this boy in the middle, Murtaja Korareis, he was arrested shortly after this protest. He was 13. Today, Korareis is 18. He's still in jail and now faces the death penalty. The charges, well, it actually took four years for the government to charge him. When they finally did, they said he was a member of a terrorist organization. Korareis is from a Shia family. That's his dad just behind him. A family that has a history of demonstrating against what they say is unfair treatment of Shia by the government. In fact, Korareis's brother was killed by Saudi forces in a rally. One of the incidents the government used to charge Korareis with four years after his arrest, his brother's funeral, which authorities say turned into a march against the royal family. Korareis was just 11 at the time. To understand Murtaja's circumstances, it helps to know that the Shia minority, largely in the east of the country, have felt marginalized in the kingdom for a long time. Protests aren't new. Neither are arrests. But as Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman rose to power, the government crackdown on Shias intensified. On April 23, 2019, Saudi Arabia announced it had executed 37 people, one of the largest mass executions in the kingdom's history. The majority were Shia, and three were killed for protest-related crimes they'd committed as minors, according to rights group Reprieve. Korareis was 13 when he was arrested. The prosecutor in his case is not only calling for the death penalty, but for his body to be crucified or dismembered afterwards. As far as the kingdom is concerned, this is state security. Saudi Arabia has often labeled protesters as terrorists and often described protests as violent. Saudi activists maintain the funeral turned rally where Korareis was arrested was peaceful. It's difficult to hear from Korareis, his family, or his lawyer, but it's illegal for Saudi citizens to speak to foreign journalists, and the details of this case are not public. We asked for comment from the Saudi authorities, but have not received a response. So where does Murtaja stand now? Some of the charges against him were for crimes allegedly committed when he was just 10 years old. Some of the charges relying on confessions with only a thumbprint for confirmation. Today, Murtaja awaits a ruling. Will he be spared the death sentence? <laughs>